this is bonkers, actually. I was not expecting it to be this busy. I knew it would be busy, but this is bonkers. Really like this. Hello everybody, welcome to Chaz Draycott Media, and welcome to another episode of My Desktop. What we're doing today is playing Tower Simulator 3, but I wanted to pin on to an episode just a little thing about how to edit the schedules a little bit more. Uh, in some of these videos in the past, I've used Jarrett P's scheduler, which you would have seen, and made my own schedules and so on. It's a bit of a long-winded process sometimes when you're making them from scratch, so I don't want to include a full thing on that video, but in this video... I did Bermuda, where I made it a little bit busier than it was, and I wanted to show you how I did that and how easy it is to do that. So for smaller airports and so on, you can use the Energist Design World Traffic and World Colour as long as you've already bought that, and you can just edit it using Jarrett P's scheduler. I'll try and put a link to that in the description as well so you can get the scheduler for yourself. Once you have a look at this, you'll figure out it's quite easy, to be honest with you. So one of the first things to do is to go to your Tower Simulator 3 folder, go into Airports, and then for the airport you're going to change you need to make another one of the databases files so we're going to go to st louis today or st louis sorry the newest airport to the game uh, we're going to go into databases now you've got the default one and the energist design one they show up in this drop down when you choose what sort of databases you're going to use for the airport and basically any folder you have here is what will show up regardless of whether it works or not so we're going to make a copy and paste of the energist design one and just call it chas Draycott like that. And in these folders you'll have the same thing. Airlines, airports, frequency, GA, package, schedule and terminal CSV. Uh, when the scheduler sort of accesses a folder like this it makes this little text file so don't worry about that. And in the Chaz Draco one you'll see we've got exactly the same. So what I'm going to do is then open the scheduler up and this is it. This is the thing. So we're going to full screen that so you can have a good old look at it. Uh, you've got all your airports listed down here. You don't need to change that but if you've not got that set already just make sure that you choose your Tower Simulator 3 folder so it knows where to look for the airports. And we have all of these wonderful airports on here, KSTL, and then look, you've got the three databases, so it knows what folders are in there. So we're going to do the Chaz Draycott one. We're going to read original schedule first, which is what it's got planned in. And they're all the flights that are there for the Energist Design schedule with their world colour and world traffic. Now it says number of hours two there, but what I want to do is do a full 24 hour day of flights. We're not going to jump onto that just yet though, because what we need to change is the select and exclude airlines and edit schedule statistics. You can see here, American Airlines have got 34 flights, Southwest have got 250. I'm probably going to leave the Southwest aircraft to the same sort of number. And then what we can do is go down to the drop down and click edit. So you've got all of these different flights, so that's where they're going to, all the different aircraft types, and that's the percentage of the day. All you want to do is click on here and then double the numbers. So we go from 8 to 16 and then you press enter once you've done it. So then you click apply, and then for the next airline, you do the same. What I could also do is add an airline in, and there's all the codes here. If you're not sure of it, then you can just Google it, basically what the uh, the three letter code is. We'll add a flight. Uh, it's gonna be British Airways. It says it's a greater than zero. We'll have two a day, and we'll get it to go to, oh, you can't get it to go to EGLL. I was going to try and do Heathrow. So these are all the airports that they can fly to. So that's all programmed in already. We'll just do it to Frankfurt, for example. Tick that on there. And we'll choose the aircraft type on here to be a Boeing 777-300. You also select multiple as well. So you have to click on, like you see what I mean? It highlights them, basically. Uh, so you have to just make sure you've only got that one clicked. You can also have it so that it... Uh, why can't I go off that now? There you go, you just press escape. What it does is you can have multiple aircraft types, so sometimes that flight will be a 777, other times it'll be an A380 or whatever else you choose. What you've not got to worry about is putting too many in. If you put too many in, it just sometimes won't spawn them in. It'll just choose a selection of them to put in, so you don't have to worry too much about that. American and United are apparently missing some planes. Oh, there's another section here, regional, and some of them don't have planes selected, so we need to make sure that they're done. So now we've got all of those in, what it'll do is, if you now try and get it to regenerate the schedule with the same numbers, it'll put 50-50 in because you've got 50-50 with the arrivals and departures as written down on here. So what we can do is generate new randomised schedule and then click regenerate again and it'll jump it up and down a bit so you can see that it's quite busy. So it's a little bit more all over the place. Uh, we could maybe jump into this now and try... I don't know, a 5 a.m. stint or maybe about a 3 o'clock stint because we'll get quite a lot of stuff in there. It tends to add a few GA on each time as well because that's part of the GA schedule, which is a separate file. Uh, I'm going to save it as this at the moment. So that's generated it now. That's done it. So we can quit this and then jump straight into the game and see how it looks. So we'll give it a go, shall we? So here we are on the main menu. Then we go straight down to KSTL 
and as you'll see here we have airport databases and now we can choose Chaz Draycott. We're still using the Energist Design airplane set and we're going to go for the setup that I was using the other day. Uh, we're going to go for three zero left for arrivals on everything and then we're going to get all the departures out on runway 29. We're going to move to 3 o'clock. Now since I just recorded that other bit, I've done a bit more random generating just to add a few more flights in. So it may be a bit different to how we saw it before, but the premise is still the same. Uh, let's go. Now I've got these texture errors coming up because that's supposed to be Brickyard RPA instead of American Airlines. And we will just make sure that we have aircraft around us. So let's see what we've got. As you can see, oh God, as you can see, it's a lot busier than it was last time I did this already. There's a lot of stuff here. There is the uh, the American Airlines uh, CRJs without the color scheme on. Uh, you can see the Spirit, there's a few Frontier. Still got a lot of Southwest. Uh, there's our Lufthansa A33300 that was supposed to be in. And I'm not sure we're gonna get, there's the uh, little cargo Mesa or Mesa as I've been told to say it, but that's a very American uh, pronunciation for it. Uh, we've got a little bit more here. It's a 717. Hi. Love a 717. Uh, we've got a few more from United and all sorts down here. And yeah, even to the point where that terminal is getting full-ish. So they've actually got an aircraft sat over here. I don't see the British Airways. A No, I tried to put an A350 in uh, for British Airways, but I think that's going to be appearing there if anywhere. But obviously the A330 has taken up a big chunk of that space. So you see what I mean? It's busier than it was in the previous video that I did. And that's how you get all of the aircraft in here. So we're going to carry on with it. We're going to do a bit of a stint here and see what aircraft show up. And we'll play the game for a bit and go from there. So this will be a shorter stint than what you used to in my videos. Usually we're at least half an hour to sort of an hour. But we'll still play the game and see what we can do. We have Delta 8255 ready to go just down here, which funnily enough is the exact 717 Saint I just took a lack at. A lack at? A look at. With information, Charlie. Requesting push and start. Delta 8255, push back approved. Expect runway 29er. Okay, let's get these strippies Ground. on. Runway but SKQ603, whatever that is, a Pilar PC12 on arrival. But yeah, it's, you know, there's there's other airports where you could try it. I mean, to be fair, if I wanted to do something silly and do a schedule where I, I planned the video ages ago where I was going to do just Ryanair everywhere. I was going to do like 600 Ryanair flights at an airport and just have constant departures and arrivals that were just Ryanair all day. There's a 737 up there that's about to push back, actually, and another southwest on the right. But you could just do one airline and just have 600 flights of all just Ryanair 737s all day. And that would work. It would be absolutely fine. You've just got to select each pier for them to go to at the top of the screen that I showed you earlier on. You can hear the 717 starting up down here. Let's have a look. Lovely thing. I really like a 717. So cute. Anyway, we'll wait for them to uh, get ready to go. They should be ready to taxi any moment now, to be fair. I need to remember what taxiways we're using for them as well, because we want to really get them down Delta and then Tango, get them straight onto runway 29. St. Louis Ground, there he is. Delta 8255, ready to taxi. Delta 8255, runway 29er via Delta Tango. Delta 8255, cross runway 24. We've got Southwest ready to go as well. Just over there, they've just popped up. Down yonder. That's a 737 Max 8, I believe. You can hear them whistling up now as they start to taxi away. St. Louis ground, Southwest 1170 with information Charlie. Requesting push and start. Southwest 1170, push back approved. Expect a runway 29. Ground, runway 29. More arrivals in. Delta 7368 is a Boeing 7379. We've got Air, is that Seattle? St. Louis Ground, Air Shuttle 4739 ah. with information Charlie. Air Shuttle. Requesting push and start. That's the 737 that's all the way down there. Air Shuttle 479 and 9 are pushback approved. Expect a runway 29er. Should probably get them on 30 left Ground. from there to runway be honest with you, but no. Going to be stubborn. Air Shuttle 4739 no. There goes Delta. Tower. Skylap 603 on final 30. Skylap. Skylap 603, runway 30 left, clear to land. Skylab, not Skylap. Runway Sorry. 30 left, clear to land. Skylab 603. Uh, we've still got our cameras set up here, haven't we? Yeah, there's the 
uh, uh, departures, that's the sort of overall terminal look. There's the arrivals camera and then the F10 camera up here. Nice, okay. So you can see Southwest push back there. There's two more ready to push back in a minute as well. So there's going to be more departures and arrivals per hour as well. That's the other thing you need to think about. It's going to be busier and you can change the sort of uh, diversity in the airlines that you have at the airport as well. Because the main thing is that you just make it busier in general. So you've always got flights St. going Louis, on. Ground. There we go. Southwest 1170, Southwest 1170 ready to taxi. taxi. No, shut up. Southwest 1170, runway 29 via Delta Tango. Say again. Uh, yeah, I know. Runway 29 <laughs> via Delta Tango. I mucked up, Tango. I know, love. Southwest 1170. Uh, ooh. Is that Vista Jet or something? VJA over there? Yeah, it's a little private Louis jet. Ground. Critter tree two zero four Critter. information Charlie requesting push and start. Critter two zero four, push back approved. Expect runway three zero right. No one nine six. Critter two zero four. What? Critter two zero four. St. Louis Ground, Air Shuttle 479er 9er ready to taxi. Air Shuttle 479er 9er, runway 29 via Delta Tango. Southwest 1170, cross runway 24. Let's just give these pushback via F6. Via Delta Tango. Pushback approved, Air Shuttle 479er 9er. Right. Cross runway 24, Southwest 1170. Ground, runway 30 right, pushback approved. Critter Tree 204. St. Louis oh, Tower, Critter Delta Tree. On I'd wonder why Critter Tree came up. That's my bad. Uh, Southwest also ready to push back in a sec. Delta 7368, runway 30 left, clear to land. Runway 30 left. Clear Southwest 6439, push back approved. Expect a runway 29. Delta 8255, runway 29, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. There goes the Runway Delta 717. Turning onto the taxiway Southwest right now. You can see Critter Tree in the background there pushing back. There's another aircraft over there actually that wants to uh, get pushing. Ah, just over here. Is that some sort of. Looks like 737 from distance. Is it like a cargo one? Pretty sure it is. Look at that thing. Interesting. Okay, so we go back down here. We've got clearance given for them. Swift flight. One, nine, eight, Swift four, flight. With information, That's that Boeing 737. Push and start. Uh, we're going to wait, actually, to get them out of there. Uh, where will... Ooh. Critter Tree 204 is going to get on there. Was that Kilo? No, that's Saint Kilo. Louis ground. Critter Tree 204 ready to is that taxi. Hotel? Critter Tree 204, runway 30 right at Hotel. Yes. I'm good. Runway three zero right. At there hotel. goes Critter tree two the seven one seven. By the way, just jumping out of here. Southwest is taxiing. Southwest six four three nine is pushing back. Critter tree is going to taxi behind them. I just didn't want to risk them pushing back and getting in the way because it's a much bigger aircraft. Now we should have an arrival any second now. This is Skylab. And the Saint Pilatus PC twelve. Ready to, to touch taxi. down. All the foliage is nice around here, isn't it? It's very pretty. There's a little Pilatus. Look at that nose wheel down first, son. A lot of requests for push and start, which is good. American 9490, pushback approved. Expect runway 29er. Swift Flight 1984, pushback approved. Expect runway 30 right. Southwest 6439, runway 29 via Delta Tango. Can't remember what the Mesa Airline thing was. Ground, runway 29, push back approved. Uh, Air, Shuttle. Air Shuttle 4799 across runway 24. Another Southwest ready to push back. Ground, runway 30 right, push back approved. They're going to taxi, where do they want to go? Okay. Skylab 603, taxi to ramp via Delta. Critter Tree 204, runway 30 right, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. 
Runway 2 Niner, Via Del 2, Tango. Delta's Southwest just come in. There they are. Runway two four. Air shuttle four seven nine Busy, nine innit? Nine. See what I mean? There's always stuff going on. There's a lot of bits moving around, and that's just by doubling up some of the numbers of flights. We turn the southwest ones down, and they're still going to be busy. But like, did we have anywhere near this many aircraft on frequency at once in the other episode? There was a lot going on then. I'm sorry. <laughs> We've got these guys taxiing down here now. Southwest, pretty much ready to go, so we'll give them clearance. No. Southwest three five two five with information. Charlie, request and push and start. There's going to be a drama there, is there? No. Southwest one one seven zero runway two nine are clear for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude one thousand. Contact departure. So we've got two aircraft departing at once here. Runway two niner, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude Envoys on its way in. Contact departure. Southwest one one seven zero. Delta seven three six eight taxi to ramp via Charlie. Taxi to ramp via Charlie. Delta seven. Southwest three five two five pushback approved. Expect runway two niner. Southwest six three four three pushback approved. Expect runway two niner. So we've got these two ready to go in their 737s. They've just pushed back. They're taxiing out. They're taxiing in. They're going into there. Two southwests are pushing back over there. We've got wherever that private jet's just gone. There they go. Swift flight's ready to go, which is this 737 over here. It is busy at St. Louis. Air shuttle 4799 and runway 29 and line up and wait. Swift Flight 1984, runway 30 at hotel. Good stuff. Runway 29er, line up and wait. American 904-90, runway 29er via Delta Tango. Runway 30. That's the overall look at it. So they're gonna go this way. Southwest are both gonna taxi out that way and then on to Delta. I really should get stuff taxiing out on Charlie. I know, because last time I had the drama, didn't I, with an aircraft coming off at Delta, and they're already being a plane there in the way. Uh, Swift flight are ready to go. No, that's Air Shuttle. Air Shuttle 4799, runway 29, are cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, card to departure. <coughs> Excuse me. Runway 29er cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Taking down the little Air Shuttle 4799er. Because of the different taxi speeds. It's flat out, isn't it? Flat out. United 7984, pushback approved. Expect runway 29er. Ground, runway 29er, pushback approved. Envoy 4769er, runway 3 left. Zero left. Clear to land. Sorry, Envoy. My bad. Runway 30 left, clear to land. Envoy 4769. There they go. Saint Louis ground. Southwest Saint Louis is Southwest 6343, runway 29er via Delta Tango. Southwest 3525, follow company. So what we've done there is tell the second of those Runway two Southwests to follow the other one. So he's got moving. Southwest six, three, four, three. He should do the same just now. Southwest three, five, two, five. Saint Louis ground. Don't think he is Southwest doing. Southwest 6343, ready to taxi. Uh, no, he's definitely not. Okay. Southwest 3525, Runway 29 via Delta Tango. I think it's because they're on different taxiways, actually. Runway 29 Southwest 6439, cross runway 24. American 9490, cross runway 24. They're just over there, ready to cross. Okay, let's get Swift Flight out of here. Swift Flight 1984, runway 30, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Endeavour 90875, pushback approved, expect runway 29. Where's Endeavour? Is that just down here? Yeah. Runway three zero Delta left. CRJ Via just down Tango. here. Papa, Delta cool. Two, one. Swift flight one nine or eight four. United's pushed all the way back to Ground. there, which is runway quite interesting. Uh, what's that noise? Uh, that's these two. They've crossed runway 24. Saint Louis They're going to get ready to go and depart. One three on final three zero left. Swift flight hasn't gone to line up on the runway. St. Louis Ground. United 7984 with information, Charlie. Requesting push and start. Southwest 1413, runway 30 left, clear to land. Runway 30 left. Did Swift Flight. Oh, I said 30 left. Southwest. Swift Flight 19084, runway 30 right, clear for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. I'm sure you all noticed that when I did it. Negative. Swift Flight 19084. St. Louis ground. Oh, have I buggered United it up? 
Swift flight 19084, runway 30 right at hotel. Runway 30 right at hotel. Okay. Swift flight 19084. Swift flight 19084, runway 30 right, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Runway yep. 30 right, okay. cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude My bad. 1000, contact departure. It's a bit messy down here. Swift flight 19084. There's a few planes knocking about more, want pushback, so I'm just making sure they're going to push back probably to here. These two want to get taxi and I'll wait till this southwest has gone past them. Ready to taxi. They're ready to taxi, but I'll wait till these have gone past, like I say. Okay, it's very, very busy out there. Southwest 6439 and runway 29 are clear for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000 contact departure. American 94900, runway 29 line up on wait. See what I mean? Busy, innit? It's good. Dead good. Because even if you've got airports that are a little bit quieter, a little bit dead. Southwest 6439. Someone just landed. Oh, yeah, they literally Rubbish just got off the runway now. Line up and wait. American 90490. Envoy 4769, a taxi to ramp via Charlie. There goes the Swift Flight 737. Taxi to ramp via Charlie. Envoy 4769. Let's out of here. St. Louis Tower, Southwest 2709. on final 30 left. This is actually mental. Oh, that's a bit of a close lineup. I shouldn't have done that. Louis Southwest on its way. There's the other 737 just taking off over there. Southwest are waiting to cross the runway, so we'll get both of those across. Southwest 6343, cross runway 24. Southwest 3525, cross runway 24. Cross runway 24. United 7984, runway 29 via Delta Tango. Endeavour 9875, runway 24 via... Endeavour 9875, runway 29er via Delta Tango. That was a big mistake saying runway 24. What are you? Is that Air Wisconsin? Cross runway 24, southwest 3525. Air Wisconsin. Air Wisconsin 485, pushback approved, expect runway 29er. Southwest 2709, runway 30 left, clear to land. This is bonkers, actually. I was not expecting it to be this busy. I knew it would be busy, but this is bonkers. Really like this. American 94900, runway 29, are cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. That's southwest coming in. Another one in on 30 left. Air Wisconsin 485. Okay, 485 Runway is pushing back, so we're not going to get the one next to, to push back. Southwest 2709. They're taxiing down Runway here. Two They're taxiing down here. They're pushing back. They're going to taxi and probably park there. We've got anyone queuing up to cross the runway? No, we just need to tell United to do it. St. Louis Tower. Whoa. Air Wisconsin 5117 on final 30 left. United 7984, cross runway 24. Endeavour 9875, cross runway 24. To be fair, we could probably zoom in a little bit and not Cross worry about stuff that's got out. Southwest 6343, runway 29 in line up and wait. Southwest 8305, pushback approved, expect runway 29 Southwest 1413, taxi to ramp via Charlie 6. Cross runway 24, Endeavour 9875. Air Wisconsin is going to get straight into Delta there, hopefully. Southwest 6343. Because they're going to go down there, as you can see. We want Air Wisconsin to go here. Southwest 8305. This is so, so busy. But this is how simple it is, you know. Jarrett P's done a great job with that scheduler. Air Wisconsin 485, runway 29 via Delta Tango. Hopefully Air Wisconsin gets going. Gets in front of them oh, they're going to turn straight away, look. They're pretty much next to a taxiway turn in there. Yes, awesome. They're getting straight out of the way. I like it. Delta 212 with information Charlie. Delta 212, push pushback start. approved. Expect runway 29. -er. We're going to leave Ground, American waiting there push to push back Delta 212. before they get um, there. Because there's an aircraft taxi down there, basically. Southwest 6343, runway 29. -er cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000. Contact departure. Bit of a queue down here. 737s and a CRJ. <laughs> But yeah, I hope this has served as a uh, good example of how busy these airports can get by just playing around with that scheduler. Just change the flight numbers a bit. You can add airlines in, it's easy to do, but it takes a long time to do it from scratch. That's all I'll say. 
But, I mean, look at it. It's been crazy here at St. Louis. I'm going to pause time here, and I'm going to end this episode here, because, like I said, this was just a quick look at it, but hopefully it's given you a good insight as to how to use that scheduler just to edit the already existing schedules. Uh, make sure you do just make a copy of the folder, as I said right at the start of the video, though. Otherwise, you'll ruin the Energist Design one, potentially, if you make any mistakes, and then you won't be able to get it back without sort of re-downloading it all and yeah, fixing it, and it's it's a nightmare. It's, it's just easily avoided by copying the folder. Anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed this episode everybody go out and play with the schedules yourselves if you want to make it busier it's very simple to do and i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next episode